Hey folks, AJ here. We are on another side of Richmond. We are at Mount Nebo Baptist Church here, a different Mount Nebo. And um, they wanted to do it on site so we can see what we can do to help them out. I'm here early, so I'm just waiting for everybody to get here for me to meet Ashley, I believe, and see what we can do to help their ministry here. So let's take you inside and let's see what we can do. folks so we just finished up here and you know what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the computer design everything and this is um, kind of like similar to what we've been setting up before so this is more for me contrary to popular belief we're gonna have maybe a 55 65 on either side of the walls here um, the speakers in the corner are gonna come down um, probably gonna go with two fiber HDMI cables that we're gonna run white conduit right across the tops here so it blends in with the molding up there that's going to feed into an a to mini extreme up there um we also maybe need to look into doing some type of digital snake so that way we can send all the audio and repurpose the mixer board up there instead of having to run 10 xlr cables and stuff like that all over the place so that we can just run everything over a shielded cat 65e or something like that cat cat 5e what yeah whatever cat cable ethernet cable yeah that thing um and we can run everything up there um possibly looking at taking one of the tvs that was already here put that in the back display a 20x ptz camera directly connected to a joystick so in the future it can expand out and i think that's it off the top of my head um but like i said let's go ahead and cut over to the computer at draw io where we draw the whole thing out Alrighty folks, we are back home and let's go ahead and design this system, shall we? Now, this may possibly include doing some audio stuff, but I'm not going to include that. The only thing I'm going to include is just the basic connection and I'm going to leave it up to um, when I hear back from them if I need to go that far. Um, maybe if you spell correctly, AJ. There we go. All right, so the base of the system, um, they are currently, they are using just a single Mevo that was handling everything, the camera and the live streaming. But when they wanted to expand, that's the issue that happened with the Mevo. So what I am recommending to them is an A10 Mini Extreme that will handle all the stuff that we need to do with them. I am gonna do my, um, well there, um, audio mixer as a personas if I can recall what I saw and we're going to be moving that to the media area that's going to be in the balcony all right so they have a bunch of connections most likely I'm just going to use the tape out for right now so that would give me the um, RCA connections in between and let's do those as orange all right, and we'll just say that's audio. All right, so I believe they actually already have a computer. So that is what I'm going to just, you know, intentionally leave in place that that's what they're going to be using. And this is going to be for presentation software as well as controlling the ATEM. Um, so we'll say this presentation system. Now, this is gonna be similar to how we did this at Spring Creek. So let's go ahead and have this connected over HDMI. Oh, let me put it on the top right there. So, oh well, we'll just do it like this. And that is gonna be HDMI. And then I am recommending a, um, a 20X PTZ, maybe one of the Famacos or something like that. Um, 
here. This will allow them to grow in the future with some other ones if they decide to do that. So I'm going to call this uh, the back PTZ. And because it's so close, you know, we don't have to worry about getting any fiber cables or anything like that. That is going to be HDMI as well. And then we have our joystick. I may try and stick with a network based one. So that's less cables that need to go to it. Um, but we shall see. So I'll just put this over here. Um, PTZ joystick. All right, we're obviously going to need to put a, um, a switch up there. Um, switch is going to be a POE switch that will power the joystick as well as the PTZ camera. POE switch. Set this over here and we're connecting our camera, of course. We're going to do that. Let's do that in purple. We're also going to connect our ATEM, our laptop, right there. Make me, I make me have to change how nice I want my cables to look. All right, and then we also have the. Joystick is POE. Let's bring that down here. All right, so we got this part done. And because these are over, um, if this is an IP based um, joystick, which we may not be able to do the Famaco for that one, maybe an AB CAN, um, SMT, AV, or um, you never know. We can. We got a bunch of cameras we can pick from. Uh, we just need to make sure that that camera supports the IP protocol, um, which would limit which ones I actually use because not that many support that. This just gives the freedom of not having to run another cable um, to the camera. If they do other PTZs in the future, all we got to do is we don't have to worry about power because it's going to be PoE. Power will go over to Ethernet. That will also give it network and it will give it control. So we only got to run that one cable and the video cable. And that's all we have to do coming back. All right. So this is the initial setup. Now they also have three TVs that we're going to do. And let's take this one here. And I'm thinking a 55. So I would say this is left sanctuary TV. Copy that one. And then that's going to be a right sanctuary TV. All right. And then we also have one more, which is going to be for the back wall. Uh, I shouldn't have did it that way. I don't like how I did it that way. I don't want it like that. Oh, well. Back Sanctuary TV. All right. So what we're going to do is just run a basic HDMI splitter for this. We're going to keep everything HDMI unless we really have to switch it. So that would be a one by... Might as well just do a one by four for future. One by four HDMI splitter. All right, so we're gonna have, let's move it down here. We're gonna do HDMI out number one into our splitter here. And then because of the conduits that we're going to do, we're going to do two 100 foot fiber HDMI cables that will go right here to each one of the TVs. 
One would go across the left wall. Other one would go against the right, right in the conduit right there at the top. Um, makes that really easy. And do that here. So that'll be HDMI. And then this back TV is going to have a second output coming from the presentation system so that this acts as a backstage display. Similar to what we did at Spring Creek. So this one is going to be something completely different and it's going to be fed directly from um, the presentation software. And I gave them a recommendation. Of course, I talked about presenter since it's free, but if they wanted that, I was recommending um, maybe Pro Presenter just out of the jump because it's a one-time payment, and then you have all that functionality built in. Um, all right, so we would need to have an adapter for that. And again, I, I'm thinking it may be a Mac that they're using. I'm not 100% sure. So I will have multiple options for the secondary display on that system as well, too. Um, now, the other thing is... We want to move their audio mixer to the back, but all of their connections are there at the um, on the pulpit. So most likely, we're going to invest in doing some type of snake so that that it can go over shielded um, Cat Six or um, or something. So that way, we don't have to run a whole bunch of um, XLR cables or anything like that in the conduits. We can just run another Ethernet cable here. So we're going to have all the breakouts here, which would go into our mixer for whichever given channel that's needed. And then let's say, um, do you have a piano on here? First time I've used a piano on here. So I just have this is our instruments or something like that. Maybe I should have had some more space. Why don't we slide the TV over to here? All right, so we got our digital snake and then, and maybe we should do microphones instead. bigger and I want to change the outline black all right so we would have these going into the digital snake here and then this would connect back to the one that's in the media booth area in the balcony and that would go over like a shielded Cat six um, cable. Um, that will make it simple to send everything there. Um, and then the only other thing that we're going to do is probably relocate the um, router back there, which is nothing but a um, coax cable that we just got to extend to run back there. So the actual router that's going from um, FiOS that they have their internet is actually just going to be in the back. So that's pretty much it pretty straightforward i mean granted the ceilings are high um but again um we're just putting conduit there so that's not going to be that big of an issue but it has to be dealt with that that wire is going to be exposed and we just put it in a nice little conduit so that way people are not complaining about how it looks so hopefully <clears throat> ooh, excuse me hopefully <laughs> that'll help um I'm going to write this up as an estimate, send it off to them, because um, I literally just left from the church. Um, about It was a 15-minute drive back here. I'm going to go ahead and send that off to them, and hopefully, you know, we get the contract. Y'all know, of course, I'm going to bring y'all along with me, and we're going to um, do all the design, do the install, and um, go from there. So, uh, link is in the description for every single thing that we're going to be using at this install. So hopefully it gives you some ideas if your sanctuary is kind of similar to this one, or maybe gives you some ideas. Now, one thing I did leave out is as of right now, um, 
I went with that one by four splitter because right now um, they have no desire to have anything in the back or anywhere else in the sanctuary, but I like preparing. So most likely what I will probably do is get a third fiber HDMI cable and run it into a back into the back into another um you know, HDMI splitter, or maybe just run the cable there so that if something needs to happen, all I'm now running is cables in the fellowship hall to wherever we're going. So like to prepare. So anyway, that's about it. Um, if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified. When we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. I want to thank the patrons and the YouTube members for making this video possible. Their names are on the screen right now. And you too can become a patron for as little as $1 a month, or you can become a YouTube member by clicking the join button down below. No matter which way you pick folks, you are helping us transform and change media ministries all over the world. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. We'll see you on the next video later.